क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in today's video we are going to see classification of filter based on the frequency response and how the frequency response of different types of filter looks like so let's begin with the topic we know that filter is a circuit which is nothing but a frequency selective circuit the frequency selective circuit provides pass band and stop band pass band is a band of frequency which is allowed by filter whereas stop band is a band of frequency which is attenuated or stopped by filter now based on the frequency response the different types of filters get classified now frequency response is nothing but a graph between frequency versus gain gain is defined in terms of ratio of output upon input and it is always plotted on y axis whereas frequency is always present on x axis the frequency is usually taken in terms of log because as we are dealing with frequency response we need to consider large amount of frequency values therefore in order to accommodate large amount of frequency values in a small space logarithmic scale is used whereas gain is always expressed in terms of db now let's see how the filters get classified on the basis of frequency response so the different types of filters are low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter band stop band reject or notch filter and all pass filter as their name indicates low pass filter passes low band of frequency high pass filter passes high band of frequency band pass filter passes a particular range of frequency of band band stop filter stops the band of frequency and it is considered as complementary filter of band pass filter whereas all pass filter passes all the frequency now let's see how the frequency response of all this filter now to understand the frequency response we are going to consider ideal as well as practical frequency response because practically it is not always possible to get the frequency response which is ideal one because certain parameters will affect the value of output as we are using op amp along with passive component the number of parameter affects the various parameters of op amp because of that ideal output is not possible so in that case we need to consider practical output also so let's understand how the ideal and practical characteristics of low pass filter looks like so first we are going to consider low pass filter so low pass filter is basically a filter which passes a frequencies below cut off frequency fc and blocks all the frequency which are above fc so the ideal frequency response of low pass filter consists of from 0 to fc we have gain is equals to 1 this is considered as ideal case at f is equals to fc the gain is get reduced suddenly from 1 to 0 and after fc the gain becomes equals to 0 so in fc the band of frequency which is passes by filter is called as pass band whereas after fc the band of filter is get attenuated or stopped by filter and that band is called as stop band ideally at f is equals to fc the gain makes sudden transition from 1 to 0 but practically it is not possible ideally at f is equals to fc the gain makes sudden transition from 1 to 0 but practically it is not possible at f is equals to fc practically the gain starts reduces gradually sudden transition is not possible in case of practical application so this is how the practical response looks like so the band of frequencies during which the gain reduces from 1 to 0 is called as transition band in case of practical frequency response now here the frequency response consists of frequency pass band which is from 0 to fc where gain is equals to 1 at f is equals to fc the gain starts reduces gradually but not suddenly and after that at after transition band the gain becomes equals to 0 and that band is called as stop band so this is how so this is how the practical response of low pass filter consists of which basically uses stop band transition band and stop so this is how the practical response of low pass filter looks like which consists of 
pass band which allows frequency to get passed till the frequency range 0 to fc then transition band in which gain is reduces gradually to zero and then stop band which is nothing but a band of frequency which is attenuated or blocked by filter now moving towards the next type of response of filter that is nothing but high pass filter in case of high pass filter as its name indicates, it passes only higher band of frequency and blocks lower band of frequency. So the frequencies which are below FC, that means the frequencies which are below cutoff frequency are get stopped by the filter and the frequencies which are above cutoff frequency are get passed by the filter. So the ideal response of filter looks like from 0 to FC we have stop band. At F is equals to FC, the gain is get increases from 0 to 1 and above FC, the band of filter is get passed by filter. Therefore, the band is called as pass band. Here also, at F is equals to FC, the gain makes sudden transition from 0 to 1, but that will happen only in case of ideal filter. Practically, if you look like, then in case of high pass filter, from 0 to FC, Practically, if we look at the diagram, then we will come to know that at 0 to FC, the gain of filter is equal to 0. After that, at F is equal to FC, the gain do not make sudden transition. The gain start increases gradually. That period is called as transition band. Therefore, after transition band, the gain is equal to 1. That means the band of frequency is get passed by filter. And that band is called as pass band. Therefore, in case of high pass filter, the filter blocks the frequency which are below FC and the filter passes the frequency which are above FC. The next type of filter is nothing but band pass filter. As its name indicates, it passes only a particular band of frequency. Now let's first understand how the frequency response of band pass filter looks. So in this case, we will come to know that here we have three different band. That means two stop band and one pass band. Therefore, in case of band pass filter, the pass band is extended from FL to FH, where FL is called as lower cutoff frequency and FH is called as higher cutoff frequency. And value of FH is always greater than FL. So in case of band pass filter, the pass band is from FL to FH and higher order frequency is always greater than the lower order frequency. So from the ideal frequency response, we will come to know that the gain is 0 from 0 to FL. At F is equals to FL, the gain suddenly increases to 1. That means the gain makes sudden transition from 0 to 1. After that, during the frequency FL to FH, the gain remains 1. At frequency f is equals to fh, gain again makes sudden transition to 0. So during stop band, the gain of the filter is equals to 0 and during pass band, gain of the filter is equals to 1. In between fh and fl, we will, we will have middle frequency that is nothing but fc which is called as center frequency or cutoff frequency. Now if we consider, if we look at the practical response, then we will come to know that the FH and FL value are the value of frequency which are considered at minus 3 dB frequency. So when gain is equal to 1, then after reducing to 0.707, we'll get FH and FL value. This value of frequency provides the value of pass band and the center frequency is nothing but considered as a middle frequency between FH and FL and it is given by a relation FC is equal to square root of FH and FL. So with the help of FH and FL we can also calculate bandwidth of bandpass filter and it is given by the difference between higher frequency FH minus lower frequency FL but we always need to consider the frequency as 3 dB down frequency. So basically, bandpass filter passes a particular band of frequency which is in the range of FH and FL with FH is always greater than FL. As its name indicates, it passes all the frequency but it delays the signal with respect to input frequency. Therefore, it is also called as delay filter. Now the frequency response, if we consider two response that means magnitude and phase response, then in that case the filter gain of all pass filter is always equals to 1. Now moving to the next filter that is nothing but band stop filter. Band pass filter is considered as complement of pass band filter. In case of pass band filter, a particular band of frequency is get passed by filter. Whereas in case of band stop filter, a particular band of frequency is get stopped by filter. Here also we need to consider two frequencies that means FH and FL. FC is considered as center frequency which is always present between FH and FL. 
Now in this case, initially the gain of the filter is equal to 1. So at f is equal to fl, the gain makes sudden transition from 1 to 0. So here we can say from f is equal to 0 to fl, we will have pass band. Then between fl and fh, the gain is becomes 0. Therefore, that band of frequency is called as stop band. And again, the gain it makes sudden transition from 0 to 1 at f is equals to fh. So again, we will have pass band. So in case of band stop filter, we will have two pass band and one stop band, which is always present between two pass band. Whereas in case of band pass filter, we will have one pass band and two stop band. The pass band present between two stop band. Whereas in case of band stop filter, we will have one stop band which is present between two pass band. In case of band stop filter, gain of the filter is initially equal to 1. Then at f is equal to fl, gain makes transition from 1 to 0 and it will remain 0 till frequency fh where fh is always greater than fn. And at fh again gain makes transition to zero so this is what about the filter characteristic of man pass filter so this is what about the frequency response characteristics of various filter which includes low pass filter which passes only lower band of frequency and attenuates higher band of frequency but passes high band of frequency then band pass filter which passes only a particular band of frequency and reject all the frequency above and below that band. Then next is band stop filter which blocks a particular band of frequency and passes all other band of frequencies. All pass filter which passes all the input frequency mm -hmm. and the last but not the least is nothing but band stop filter which blocks only a particular band of frequency and passes all the frequencies which are above and below that band. So this is what about the frequency response of various types of filter so i hope you understand this frequency response so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira subscribe ikira thank you